Hello, Buzzcocks, my name is Hotsy, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we uh, discovered the uh, inner workings of uh, this contraption, and we get a few uh, biobots out of it. Um, here we have one. Uh, they help us out with general tasks in the base and around the base. Um, they would be ideal for work in hazardous um, environments, but I think at the moment that that's not really an issue. Uh, today we want to focus on a bit more exploring. Um, we will do that um, by, uh, maybe let's go down here, there we have something that we have not yet uh, explored uh, to any great extent, then here we have uh, a fossil, a petrified fossil, that I want to have a look at. How do we get there? Through here, I think. And then I think we will just continue climbing up here um, and maybe here as well um, and Over here so we can see a bit more of the of the base we have uncovered quite a bit but here we have a bit of a dark spot this corner not really knowing what's going on and then here towards the top there's probably also a bit more so yeah, and then maybe here we also have something. I am not sure if we have checked what this is. Carbon dioxide went. Not really useful. But as we are down here, let's go up. That's water. And let's go over a bit. So that should sort out the uh, various exploring aspects. Over here, we have a natural gas geyser. Um, which of course would have been nice to discover early on in the game because it's a, it's a handy uh, source to uh, produce power but I think um, for now we are sorted power wise uh, we have dug our way out with this one so let's see what this is an unfamiliar building has been discovered in my colony. There is movement inside, but whoever the inhabitants is, they seem weary of us. If we can convince them that we mean no harm, we could very well end up with a fresh recruit and a useful new building. So. I probably have to knock and 
seeing that this uh, air here is carbon dioxide um, it might not be uh, that fast of a knocking because uh, the duplicants would probably have to uh, um, go back and forth um, we could do probably with uh, station or uh, gas masks. So if we have Okay, we continue knocking. So we're still at at zero percent. Um, so maybe we can have one, two, three of those, and then we need one of those. And we need a bit of oxygen in there. And I think we can get rid of this pipe. probably have to manufacture some masks um, there is probably this one I would guess let's put that here next to it and then uh, we will see having uh, masks here will help with the with the breathing uh, but it will not protect them against the cold environment all right so uh, apparently we managed to um, do something uh, initial contact was a success. Our new neighbor seems friendly, though extremely shy. They will need a little more coaxing before they are ready to join my colony. Uh, okay, we can offer them food. However, food at the moment is a bit of a problem because we don't have that much ourselves so let's hold off for a while there um, let's take those eggs um, and I think I have set them up Let's not uh, make omelets out of those. I had an idea. It's down here we have a um, chlorine vent. And
because if we can harvest that chlorine uh, and uh, have kind of uh, a pothlet form, uh, eventually we will get bleach stone out of it. And if we have a supply of bleach stone, we can have uh, a lettuce form. Um, uh, my thinking is that it will probably take a while uh, until we get there. We can have this here. We will have a transformer. Small one this time. Sitting on this side. Connect up this one. So that means we should have to make some room for our pothlet form. Oh, let's, yeah, you can see uh, uh, what I looked up there. So let's see, they have a, a conflict range quite good so maybe we could even do this a bit different and have it that way and basically then have the pothlets living in there. That could work I think and once we have a, a supply of um, supply of bleach zone we can have our salad form. We also need uh, salt water we can get from, from this side. And if we look, yeah, general exploring is, is going on. So uh, that for sure will, will take a while. So let's make three masks and uh, then we will cut to uh, when we can either make more progress with uh, with our mysterious uh, neighbor or once we have uh, found something new and uh, interesting we have the first pufflets here in our bleach stone fabrication chamber Singy, uh, don't know the details about this this event yet, but we are on the way. I also um, managed to uh, get a bit more cooling done by basically telling all these three sensors to uh, minus 20 degree. Uh, that gets a bit more cooling. And then I uh, wrapped this power line around here so we can have power here for our uh, uh, salt water. And then up here we will have another uh, atmosphere dock for which we will also need to produce some oxygen 
but we can either desalinate uh, the salt water and use that in an electrolyzer or we have here uh, a steam or yeah steam went I think that we could use for however we managed to get quite a bit of um, of food on the side so I think maybe if we can we can risk uh, uh, sparing the stuffed berry here and see what happens and maybe yes maybe we get and we get a slickster that we can we can kill that gets us some meat and that gets us some more food um, so we will wait for the delivery here um, it's not that pressing but uh, eventually it will be delivered all right we got food delivered but looking at this we need to deliver three distinct food items so we have one and we have to wait before another one becomes available and then do the third one we managed the second one surf and turf thanks to a delivery of uh, fish through the printing pot so we could make uh, surf and turf so possibly what we can manage might be pepper bread as a third one we can yeah there we go has become available otherwise uh, spicy tofu it's also something we get out of the printing pot so let's see that and uh, yeah we have a buyer bot delivering so uh, they are not the fastest uh, moving around but eventually they will come around and we get the next part of uh, uh, our friendly neighborhood service. And by the looks of it, this, uh, this individual enjoys the food that we uh, deliver him. So here comes the biobot. There we have it. Um, so, and we have a log book here. Um, improve the decor. Okay, currently it's a bit on the on the shabby side, but we managed in the past to uh, fill that out. So we will have a carpet floor, but certainly uh, is. Nice thing to have, then how about a bit of marmor here? Paintings there, and uh, it will take a while for for that to uh, to be finished. But eventually, I hope we can get there. Um, looking at other rooms where we have decor, 
here only a few pictures does the trick so it should not be uh, that difficult um, but let's just give it some time we managed to brighten this area up here so we have uh, max decor uh, reached and uh, I also hooked up a bit of power with simple uh, coal generator uh, so uh, the lights can shine on here so if we look the efforts have paid off um, has agreed to join our colony only keepsake he insists on bringing with him is toolbox which while rusty seems to hold great sentimental value now that he will be living among us his former home can be deconstructed or repurposed as storage so we have a new duplicate hopefully uh, uh that does not uh, uh, go um, too badly with with food supply um, and then we have this additional log file here um, so you can all read through it by pausing the video so this is one huge storage container not sure uh, what we will what we will do with it uh, for sure we don't need um, those decorations here um, and I guess that's it for now and we will see what we will do next time until then goodbye